Supreme bigger figure, big cap, the war in, the club king, the DJ Johnny Walker Red, MC Frank Jigger, the celebrity's choice, Sean Brophy, sound engineer, choke no joke, legendary videographer, Sterling Cox, I was the head of security, Alpha Grinion, my name is V, Omega, Big G, it's Ben Rock from the legendary Naughty by Nature, Dallas Peter Ghost, LOX, D Block, Tex, Mr. Wesson, LB Fan, Mr. Cheeks, The Cool, The DJ, The Red Alert, Kid Capri, The Tunnel was a hip hop nuclear, It was the epicenter, It was the domain, the temple, It was the mecca, Nothing was that melting pop of hip hop that kept the paradigm going. It's almost like what Rucker did for street basketball. The Tunnel was that of music industry. My Sunday ritual going to the Tunnel was, I'm telling you, your ass better be there. You just pretty much did push ups. We had to drink. Drink a couple bottles of Hennessy, go get smoke, leave the jewelry and watches at home. Before you even get to the tunnel, you gotta get on the block. You started from 11th Avenue, and when you got to that door, the search procedures was no other. First time I ever heard of take your shoes off, open your mouth, was in the tunnel. It was damn near anything but a full cavity search. Security at the tunnel was no joke. The beatdowns did happen. Some of them, if you had that chain out, that shit was leaving with one of them niggas. We had a handful of cats. When we were taking you out, they were digging in your pockets. The code check at the tunnel was crazy because you ain't know if you was gonna get your shit back. Sometimes the bloops happen where you might not get your coat. A lot of boys wanted to get their girls some fur coats, you know? So, I mean, it was free. The bar was always on till at the tunnel. You might get fake alcohol. Bartenders might have got counterfeit. The dance floor was always rocking. It looked like a video all the time. The tunnel had a very unique situation at the bathroom. It was co-ed. The bathroom was Solomon Gomorrah. I was like this, looking, trying to look past the dudes like when they was going in the urinal. The tunnel was a one-stop shop. They had food, they had alcohol, drugs. I saw weed the tub. It was just oozing money. Backstage, it was like the club amongst the club. That's where all the so-called stars who were scary to be in the crowd, that's where they hung out at. The dopest thing about the tunnel for me to remember is hearing my records get played up in there. The top maybe of all time tunnel banger. Or well, anything bad, boy. Every biggie record, any shit by whole. Shook one was bananas in there. Nori Capone, that bang bang. Andy up. Any one of Buster joints. Wild out with that because he started a fight. The best performance I've ever seen, Jay-Z performed in front of the DJ booth. The DJ booth was bouncing like a ball. Snoop and Dre. When Dre was there. DMX, get at me, dog. The king of the tunnel was Jay-Z. Buster Rhymes. DMX is the king. Queen of the tunnel. Mary J. Blige. Foxy and Lil' Kim. E. King of the tunnel, record label wise, was Def Jam. It's bad boy. The best DJ at the tunnel was Flex. Big cap, all day. Flex was the break off the record. Cause we used to try to bully cap, like don't spin this cause when I get here, I wanna spin it. No nigga, fuck wrong with you. What the tunnel did for artists is solidify their street music. That gave us a platform, set up Rough Riders, Rockefeller, Bad Boy, slew of other artists. The closing of the tunnel, it was kind of sad because that was a big piece of hip hop. So losing the tunnel was like a little kid losing Disney. A famous mosque closing down. I think when the tunnel closed, it was necessary. Niggas was coming to miss me. When you hear people of the late 70s, I talked about Studio 54. The tunnel was the Studio 54 of hip hop. Not many chicks, frontin' like divas out west. Every chick's a model like Eva, and you know I'm far from believing her. So I'm g her like she g me. Banging in L.A. is a different thing. At the end, you either dead on the bang, getting out, doing better things. On Sunset, where they hang. Hollywood, where they hustle for change. Times Square here is the same. No matter where you go, you'll find the lane. On the west, they kick it with cane. On the east, trees the souls you think. East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your raps, roll it up. If you rap, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. West Coast. Grab your glasses, take a toast. If you rep East Coast, when I'm on.
on the west and I'm doing my thing. No offer me coke, all your nose I bang. Friends don't offer other deadly things. Thanks for the hospitality, we'll still hang. I won't judge you, leave me as I came. On the road to success, top of the game. Eat all the finer things in the food chain. Teach my kids to do the same. Whether East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rep, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your glasses, take a toast. If you rep, East Coast. You gotta love life and all for wonderful things. Being the travel is a privileged thing. Came back to the East, air wasn't fresh. Streets filled with trash, various people in the ass. It's easy to tell who's up a middle class. Police and racism, same as crash. Back to where they not social, where they less vocal. When they don't know you, be careful. Show you around the East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rap, East Coast, whether East Coast, West Coast, East Coast. West Coast, pop your bottles and toss the cork. If you rep West Coast, both coasts are known to give you fame. Got Papa Ross, he's playing cameras your way. Got you bobbing and weaving like Cassius Clay. Most thugs turn Muslim in older days. Change their name to Allah, they pray. Probably till they decay. This go out to the east and west. For big and pop, y'all, let's connect. Brother East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rep, West Coast. Brother East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. You can't get the West without the ES. So it's manifested that we connect. Uh. You know what it is. Choke, no joke. Learn from mistakes, baby. You know what it is. Greg on the track. Rest in peace, baby. Eat a wall, we in now. You know what it is. No joke, Jack Brown. Yeah, now. Choke, no joke, Jack Brown. Yeah. This what ATL in New York sound like. Let's go. Y'all hating ass niggas, I see y'all. Choke, get busy, that's why I got the crown. Hate in the air. You clowns, I see the envy that you breathe, jealousy. What you need is your own damn hustle. Stop worrying about mine. Nigga, I'm popping cause I put in time. Came out modeling, camera in hand. Still get busy with the mic in hand. Streets pulled out, niggas got sprayed. Niggas turn on you when they see you get paid. The intimidation in your face. Where's the love? What's taking place? You want my gold and my ducats. Cause my money overflowing out of buckets. Shot him in public, made people holler. Scar on his face for the money and the power. I'm the choker. Choker. The truth in the industry made me the choker. Choker. The truth in the industry made me the The game at me fool got in was young So talent made you rich, damn was dumb More to make, cake from crumbs You gotta be sweet, G or native tongue My heartbeat went into overload When Larry tried to turn me into a mole Told me show my curly to the CEO I didn't think it's funny so his jaw hit the floor And grabbed that chair that broke his back then realize that's a hate attack Harassment comes assault, you in the maze No way out, like Puff and Mace Touch me, tease me, I catch a case Nigga, you ain't straight as your poker face 
Father, Lord, God, in that game I fold. This sun don't tick, demon time don't hold. Choked up. Choked up. Choked up. The truth in the industry made me the choked up. Choked up. Choked up. The truth in the industry made me the Shout out to the bomb squad. Choke, no joke, Chiggy Choke, no joke. Choke, no joke, Chiggy Choke, no joke. You know what it is. It's Choke, no joke, no joke. Oh. <laughs> what's the word what's the word come in come in come in come in come one come all come in come in come one come all choke no jokes in the building What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? I missed you. I missed you all. I know I tapped in a little bit while I was on a uh, birthday vacation. And I had a beautiful time. Had a great time. As you can see, I got a couple of shades chocolate. A, a few more shades of chocolate on me. You know what I mean? Like when I get a tan. Let my bed grow back in. You know what I mean? What's good? What's good? What's good? Come on. Oh, I got to turn my Instagram on. Hold on. Diddy, 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 diddy. Diddy, 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 diddy. I don't even know what to say, man. I know this day was coming. I can't remember when, when was the last show I did where I said um, that definitely go out to my regulars. I said uh, last week as so it's going to take two weeks after Memorial Day weekend and Diddy's going to be indicted. Indicted. How many of y'all remember me saying that? I said right after Memorial Day. They're going to take his ass to a grand jury. All but two weeks after Memorial Day, he's going to be indicted. I said that. I said I can't remember which show I said it on, but I know before I went on the vacation that I said after Memorial Day, the grand jury is going to indict Diddy. I knew it. I can't remember what, what incident it was. Um Is going.
The fuck just happened? I had an interesting observation too. I'm gonna tell y'all about that. Okay, live on you, Instagram and YouTube. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. I'm live on YouTube, Instagram. Ran through it all. Good looking. I got the uh, your message in the cash app. All right, now I got that going. Wait, let me see I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Of course, my fellow Americans is first in the building. What's up, nephew? Salute. Let me see if. Yeah, my man Wap, Wap on wood, Wap, Wap on. <laughs> Ran through it all in the building. Philly in the building. Badlands is here. Tony Piper in here. Valley in here. The Goo Show. What up, Goo Show? 2020 twin, what up? Who is this here? Ashley. Don't run Sean, lock his butt up to let Pac and Biggie rest in peace also. Grazito, what up? No love in the building. Fahim Muhammad and his newly acquired property by the Mexico border. All right, you want me to look into that? Tell me what we looking into. Where, what's, what's the problem with his head of security? And him buying a, a property near the Mexican border. Are you saying that he getting ready to run? Because he bought a property next to the Mexican border. What are you saying? The 
Pull up champ. What up? Day to Dave in the building. Michelle Frizzy is there. Of course, Erica King is here. Let's see who else stepped in the building. Of course, Shard is here. Chris, what up, Chris? Dipset, Dipset, last in the building. <laughs> Shout out Dipset forever, my peoples. Who else in here? Nandy's in here. The usual suspects in here. Tri State Sean. Mickey made it. Michelle Frizzy. Marsha Felix. Where's my girl? There she goes. There she go. There she go. There she goes. Agent Nine's here. Propane. What up? Sandra Love. Marsha Felix in the building. EB's here. Elizabeth. Y'all better act right. Elizabeth is here. And Tasha Rain. Okay, the gang is all here. We ready to go. CJ, what up? Sean, what up? All right. Miss Old School. New Pac Shakur. Riz, what up, Riz? I feel like I ain't see some of y'all in like a week or something. Kendall Parks, Christina's here. D. Rich is here. The gang is all here. All right, I'll give some more shout outs later. Jamila, what up? Byron, what up? Richie Rich, what up? Shout out to everybody that was out in Cancun uh, for Memorial Day weekends. All the families, the family. Oh man, it was all the little kids out there. It was it was uh it was an experience. It was definitely an experience. My first time in Mexico. Outside of the 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 people begging you for to to buy stuff all day. Oh God. Other than that, I I, I had a great time. But the, the people that just, just keep it offering you stuff, Jesus Christ, man. I had to bark on this one dude like, yo, my man, I just got here. Can I just chill on the beach for a second? Like, when you're on the property, you good. Because they, they can't come up on the property and solicit in you. But Jesus Christ, when you go on the beach, like, you can't even sit there and lay there and get, some, uh, get a tan without somebody trying to come and sell you something. And they so overly aggressive with it, man. I mean, so aggressive. Trying to figure this Twitch thing out. Oh, I'm live. Okay. That's how you do it. That's simple. Okay. I'm live on my Twitch too. I think I am. <laughs> we'll see I only got 13 followers on Twitch so we'll see what happens but uh, I am uh, I think it's real choke no joke or choke no joke on Twitch whatever it is but uh, alright so I'm live on Instagram YouTube Twitch trying it out alright um, so Before I went on, on vacation, of course, we've been talking about this Diddy stuff. And here's the interesting opposite, uh, observation that I had. I wasn't really, I deliberately tried to stay away from the news that was going on in America, right? For the most part. Um, 
I believe if I came on, I wasn't talking no current events. I might have been uh, showing y'all Cancun. I might have been, oh, somebody just followed me on Twitch. Good looking. All right. Um, you know, I, I talked about Cancun. You know, I showed the events and stuff that I was going on. Shout out to everybody that went to the uh, the Cancun jump off. Y'all women, I'm, I'm pretty much sure some of y'all saw uh, some of the Cancun jump off party. Let me see if I can show just a little bit of it. I'm not going to even like, I'm going to continue talking, but I'll show it while I'm talking. But what I noticed was like, I really tried to stay off of like social media, looking for the, the news and stuff. Cause I, I just ain't want to, um, I didn't just want to think about certain stuff. Like I didn't, I didn't want to be consumed with everything that was going on over here while I was over there, right? This video. Oh, here I go. All right, so uh, while in Cancun, right, and uh, y'all that want to see the, uh, I'm live on YouTube. There's a link in, in my stories if you want to come live on YouTube, right? Same thing over here at Twitch. I'm live on YouTube too, right? So um, the, the 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 Cancun jump off party, like. I only went by there one time because I didn't want to be with the what we call the ratchetness of um, our culture. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to have a civilized weekend. I see women humping on each other, and you know, just just the ratchetness. I didn't. I didn't want. That's probably why I never went to Cancun because it was always the urban crowd going to Cancun. And y'all know me, I'm black bougie. I like to do the chill stuff. <laughs> I like to go play golf and, and, and things like that. Like, but uh, I love my peoples, but I wasn't trying to be around that. Like I could go downtown Atlanta and or yeah, I seen the, the R&B soul picnic if I want to see women hump up on each other, that, that's in Atlanta all day, every day. And they brought that same energy down to Cancun. And when I went over there and I saw that, I was like, oh, I won't be coming back up here no more and stuff. But I did go check it out. I tried to go and interview the promoter to give him some publicity. But shout out to Hans from Chicago. He didn't want to get him. I guess he, he didn't know who I was. So I ain't going to blame him. But shout out to Hands from Chicago. That was the guy in the front when I tried to go and interview the uh, promoter for the Cancun jump off. I thought it would be a good look for him. 
Miss Miami, thanks for following me over here on Twitch. Appreciate you. Agent Nine, what up? Just popped in on Twitch. All right, that's what's up. Choke no joke on Twitch. Holla at me, man. Holla at me, man. Um, but yeah, they 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 had a a a, a, a crazy crowd. <laughs> I ain't gonna even have it. A lot of y'all. They had they had a crazy urban crowd for the QC um Cancun jump off. And uh so shout out to that brother. I ain't get to meet him, but I tried. Your man hands, he, he wasn't trying to uh get you, brother. He didn't want you to get no publicity, but it's all love. I guess you got enough. You didn't need mine, right? Um but it was a lot of uh, civilized, I would say. I'm not saying these people are uncivilized, but the ratchetness wasn't at every um, resort. It just it was just that crowd that brought that American uh, urban crowd. And I'm telling you, the Mexicans were sitting there looking at them like they was like some type of art exhibit <laughs> they looking at the women like why y'all humping on each other like this is what y'all do they was looking real crazy like scratching their heads i'm just sitting there watching their reaction and stuff it, it, it was just interesting to see it was like a like a, a circus show or something it, it, <laughs> but <laughs> Shout out to my black women, man. Y'all love each other more than y'all love us. It's all love. We love y'all. Right? Um, so, outside of that, um, like I said, I really enjoy Cancun. Um, they, will, they will hustle you to death, man. Oh, my God. I, that if if I don't go back to Cancun no time soon, it's because I don't want to deal with the harassment of these salespeople. I mean, like Jesus Christ, bro! Like a regular T-shirt like this, the, but the the uh, the tourist joints. They want twenty five dollars, thirty dollars for a t shirt. I'm like, yo, come on, bro. I'm just it's three for ten. Like, are you serious? Like, oh my god, bro. They was trying tequila. Oh here, buy this tequila. This is it. it, it it's so special. Did it? I will go to Google, put in a good tequila in, in the liquor store in America. Come on, bro. You trying to sell me this? How much? Oh, in Mexican with Mexican pesos, uh, uh, seventy five dollars. I give it to you for seventy five dollars U.S. Really ninety. I go right on Google, Walmart, or uh, a liquor store, or whatever it is for this. Whatever they show me, look it up. Yo, bro, look that shit is twenty five dollars, man. Like, come on, bro. Why are you trying to get me? <laughs> they was hating me. <laughs> They was hating me. They, they could not hustle me out of nothing, bro. When I tell you they couldn't hustle me out of nothing, man, I'll be right in my phone. Well, how much? 500 pesos. Bro, that's $15. That's $13. Like, and they be trying to tell you it's so much more. Y'all see them boongies? I'm telling you, they was out there. They was out there, right? Um, I'm distracting myself. <laughs> I'm distracting myself over here. But uh, like I said, they was out there. But yeah, I did, that's the only thing I didn't like about Mexico or Cancun. Cause I don't know if it's like that everywhere in Mexico, and I doubt it is. But um, Jesus Christ, they will harass the crap out of you to buy something, bro. Don't 
don't don't walk into one of them little flea market joints where there's a whole bunch of flea markets. I mean, a whole bunch of stores in one flea market. I'm telling you, you cannot walk 30 seconds with like 10 people pulling you everywhere. It, it was uh, other than that, it, it was cool. The clubs, they was cool. I went around to a bunch of different little spots. I'm a, I'm a, I got so much content, like I don't even know where to begin. I might just cut up a whole Cancun movie and just make a whole doc out of my trip in Cancun because it, it was off the chain. Now, the food at the Hard Rock uh, Hotel where I stayed at, it was good. I, and y'all know I've been working out and eating right. Boy, I fell off the damn bed. The, the, what is it? When you fall off the wagon, man, I was eating sugar, sweets, drinking beer, so much liquor. Oh, God. Like, I, I was just eating everything. I left home. I think I, I went down to 181 from 200 from my straight workout for my birthday. Right. When I got home, I got on, on the scale. I weighed myself. I was 185 when I got on the scale. Right. Because I was like, I know I ate a lot. I woke up. I went and used the bathroom. And I this TMI. I removed my bowels. And I tell you, I was on that toilet for about a good 30, 45 minutes. Like, whoo! Like, I ain't, I, I haven't gone to the bathroom that long in a long time. I thought that shit was going to even flush when I got up. It was like I was up on there so goddamn long. I went and stepped on the scale. Three and a half pounds was gone. <laughs> I swear to God, I am not exaggerating. I put three and a half pounds in that toilet. And when I got back on the scale after I got off that toilet, I was back down to 182 and a half or something like that. I know I overate. I know I did. I know I did. But it was so good. I I, I felt bad. Like, the last night I went to... uh. Damn, I can't think of this one restaurant. I went to this one restaurant that that was my only time eating at that restaurant, but it it was good. I can't remember everything that I had. I know I had some fish. Some clam chowder. Some seafood croquettes that was off the chain. Woo! And I left that restaurant and walked right across the street. I mean, right across into the other restaurant, Toro. Went right into Toro and sat down there and ate again. And I felt bad. I felt like I was being sneaky or like I was stealing another plate of food for, for free. It's all inclusive, so you, you can eat as much as you want. But that's how much I was eating. I felt guilty. I felt bad. Like it, it was stealing to go from one restaurant to another one. <laughs> but see, I got every nickel worth, God damn it, that they were supposed to give people. Um, but they had great entertainment. They had great, great, great entertainment. I've seen the fire show, they had a salsa show. During the day, they had um all kind of pool aerobics and workout. Stuff at the pool, you go get in the pool and all that stuff. Um, phone parties. Uh, different games, karaoke. It, 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 was, it was a cruise ship that didn't move, basically. Let's see the pictures from the fire show. All right, I'll show, you, I'll show you all some of the fire show. Uh, the fire show was amazing too. It did, it really was. Um, let me see. So, how many? Like, yeah. 
Oh, I was telling y'all earlier about that sexual assault situation. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta show y'all that too. Lord have mercy, boy. Yo, you gotta be careful with your kids. Y'all got to be careful with y'all kids. Y'all can't be going to these resorts. Letting y'all kids just uh run crazy and 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 leave the room while you in there sleeping. Cause these yeah, y'all see, I'll show y'all. show you a little bit of the fire show while I'm talking. Yeah, so overall, I, I give the, uh, the whole trip a good 8.5. Uh, a nine it was just a harassment you know what i'm saying it was just a harassment and then when i was leaving they tried to get me for uh like 45 dollars to go to the airport after the transportation was already taken care of which annoyed the shit out of me because they was trying not to let me leave the resort and shit. and i'm like Man, I embarrassed the shit out there, yes. I, I made them regret doing that shit to me. <laughs> don't don't accuse me of being wrong when I know I ain't wrong. And don't be mad at me when I know I ain't wrong and checking your ass. Cause that that's what I do. You know what I mean? But um moving on, like what I was saying is that I noticed out there. When I was out there, like at times I would pick up my phone and, you know, check my comments for YouTube and stuff. And like to see like, uh, like Gene and, and, and uh, the dirty cop, just like Still daily, 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 still talking about Diddy, 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 Diddy. Like, you know, just from uh the dirty parole officer's perspective, you know what I'm saying? It's like this nigga went on a vacation with his 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 undercover boo. We we I think we know that's his undercover boo, right? <laughs> like they went to Aruba. Popped off, came back, and she the co-host. <laughs> all, all his little chicks in the comments, they looking like, oh, now we got an answer to this chick. He like, yeah, yeah, you know, the green is the membership, and the, and the blue is the moderators. You got to say to him, yo, y'all say what's up to my new bitch. <laughs> I said, look at this nigga here. Nigga when they went on a a boo a boo cruise that came back and got a, a wifey co-host. Ain't this a bitch? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you get these buns, you going I got to be the co-host, nigga. All your moderators and all your members is gonna have to answer to me. I'm the co-host now. <laughs> I said, he can't, the nigga don't even look comfortable no more with her up on the screen with him. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, yo, this nigga looks so uncomfortable, bro. That shit is hilarious. I can't even help it. Yo, 
<laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Yo, that shit is hilarious, bro. That nigga shorty like, oh nigga, we popped off on the trip, nigga. I'm the co-host now, nigga. <laughs> that nigga come back. <laughs> Yeah, you you can already see that shit is not gonna last long, bro. Watch, that nigga will turn on his own fucking kids. Best believe he gonna turn on this motherfucker. You watch and see. Give it, give it, give it a month. I guarantee you, Shorty will not be up there with him no more. Watch, you watch and see. <laughs> this nigga booed up on YouTube now. Ain't that a bitch? But um, so seeing um, seeing like the I'm seeing all these like the posts coming up like, and I'm like, damn, ain't this thing like he don't give a like stop talking about this nigga for a few days, like Jesus Christ, right? Same thing with the dirty pig. These niggas, I was like, damn. Like, these niggas don't really, they really don't care. Like, they just going to snitch and snitch and shit. I, I'm convinced, y'all, that the dirty parole officer is working. There's no way this nigga is not a, a confidential informant or working to help get Diddy locked up. It, you cannot tell me that. Now, whatever Diddy get, he deserves, Right? If if whether if all this is true, whatever, whatever, I'm not here to defend the man, right? But it seems like a lot of people that enable Diddy and turn their head, act like they ain't see nothing, and talk all this shit, like they the ones going the hardest on him right now, right? But like I told y'all. This is R. Kelly part two. I've been saying this since last year. That man act is going to supersede all statue of limitations, right? All these people that's talking about Diddy. I ain't wishing bad on nobody, but you better believe that these niggas is getting indicted with him, even though they think they sitting up here telling and telling and telling. The feds is going to make sure dumb niggas do not change their story. And how they going to make sure they don't, they don't change their story? By indicting them too. By putting charges on them too. I'm putting charges on all you bitches. You all be in Pelican Bay when I'm done with you. <laughs> right? <coughs> All gonna be in Pelican Bay, right? And what I tell y'all, <clears throat> the reason I knew that the grand it was going to the grand jury after Memorial Day weekend was. I just remembered they CNN put out the tape of Diddy running through the hotel with Cassie. Now, like I said before, that was done just for the grand jury indictment, right? They put out that video because there are many people prior to the video coming out Still on the fence about Diddy. Ah, I like Diddy. No, Diddy's my friend. Diddy, you know, these is cap. These girls took advantage of him. Blah, 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 blah. They didn't have that image in their head. As soon as that CNN video came out, I knew right then that Diddy had all the two weeks before grand jury was going to come in order. Because they going from the R. Kelly playbook. Listen to me, man. There's not too many people uh, that wasn't 
in that R. Kelly circuit, going, going through that whole different trials and reading them transcripts every day, that can tell you this play by play like me because I went through that whole R. Kelly thing and I went through all, all kinds of uh, evidence, statements, um, evidence, statements, witnesses, uh stuff from the prosecution stuff from the defense all this stuff is a replay of what's going on with diddy that's why when the video came out i told y'all that video well that video was particularly leaked to secure a grand jury indictment right now you tell me one person that you could talk you could call right now I asked him, did they see that video of Diddy B and Cassidy, I mean Cassie, in the hotel at the Intercontinental in Los Angeles? You tell me if there's anybody in your in your circle, your friends, or your family that you could call right now and say they did not see that goddamn video of Diddy beating up B and Cassie. Fred Jenkins, what up? My point is they put out that video to taint the jury, the grand jury, because if that video never came out and they would have tried to indict Puff through a grand jury, they might they, they might not have been able to do it. They might not have been able to do it because people still had the perception that Puff was some somewhat of a good guy as well, right? You still have people that still love him. And not saying that it's guaranteed that he will get indicted on this uh, grand jury right here. But it's more likely that he will because the world, just like R. Kelly, the world saw surviving R. Kelly, right? So when I seen them put out the TMZ documentary uh, on Diddy, that was surviving R. Kelly, Right? When they brought up R. Kelly's uh, sex tape and reused the Man Act to indict him on the sex tape for the second time, but now in the federal case and use the, the Man Act to supersede the statute of limitations, right? That was the equivalent of the Cassie video. So you had surviving R. Kelly that they put out there for all the witnesses to give a statement, a public statement to people, right? Diddy, if you ain't watching, nigga, you better be listening to me. <laughs> because everything that I said that was going to come to pass came to pass. And, and so if you are not listening, nigga, you better, be, you better be listening. And you better be in the law library researching R. Kelly's case, nigga. I'm telling you. I'm not here to defend you. I'm just telling you, Diddy, if you watching me in, in any, and I'm sure you have watched me some point at some time, because even though these niggas be acting like y'all don't be watching, y'all don't be paying attention. I know y'all be watching, y'all be paying attention. I'm telling you now, Diddy, you got the, the, the a beginning head start to go grab R. Kelly's case, nigga, and get on your law library as if your ass was already locked up and already going to try to file like you already been found guilty and you trying to get your appeal nigga you should be studying r kelly's case or having your lawyers on r kelly case like a mother effer right now my nigga that is the only defense that is your best defense is to have a goddamn offense and a defense for whatever they get ready to bring to you. And there is no better case than that R. Kelly case in your situation. That's in your situation. <laughs> 